why do why do old people smell like like um set out protein, bro? What's going on, fam? Y'all can't hear it, but like these like lights that I have on the side of my room, bro. Like sometimes they just ring loud as a bitch. Y'all can, I don't know. Y'all probably can't, you know, really hear it in the video, which is good. So. Early morning, birds chirping. Got the bonnet on. You know, I did. I did the skincare routine though. My skin been acting up a little bit recently. I mean, I got like acne, not chronic acne. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Like periodic acne. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I have acne, like you know, once in a while. This, that, and third. But I really been breaking out recently. I've been, I've been doing my due diligence. I think it's starting to it's starting to get in check. Cause I was not having it. Man, I'm tired of acne. I'm on the I'm on the um the hunt to get rid of it, man. It's been plaguing my life. So you know. But you know, acne is a little bit annoying. Still look good though. <laughs> no, but we about to. No, but we about to head to the gym. You know, gotta get these gains somehow. Stinky duty booty. You know what I'm saying? We're hitting a. Uh, a back tricep day. To be real, I'm not sure if I'm really gonna continue. Like, cause in my program, like I got, I got chest and biceps, and I got back and triceps, and then I got legs and like legs and chest. Cause I like, I kind of like, I like hitting like chest like two times a week, but sometimes I don't do legs and chest sometimes I just do a straight full leg day so that's like you know I don't know it's match and match sometimes it's legs and chest sometimes it's just straight legs you know what I mean want to annihilate the legs um and then I got shoulders abs I used to do abs like during my leg day but we're like doing like legs and abs on the same day that's a whole a lot you know what I mean so Shoulders and abs, but I'm thinking on my freaking back and tricep day. I'm thinking I might just do shoulders as well, cause I want, cause of course I want to have those big juicy, them juicy shoulders. You know what I'm saying? You be seeing them, but motherfucker, you want to bite that thing? You just wanna. Take it out to dinner and wine and dine it, you know what I mean? Like, I want to have those type shoulders. <laughs> but, so yeah, that's why I'm like, because my triceps, they're already kind of getting out of hand, you know what I mean? They're getting like, I mean, I want them to get bigger, but I need my shoulders, you know what I mean? I don't want, because like, for an aesthetic build, like, my shoulders need to be, you know what I mean, popping out more than my triceps. And my triceps... You know, they starting to take over. So I'm definitely I'm definitely might I might do that. I might just lay back on the tricep workouts at the moment. And hit more shoulders. You know, get more stimulation, you know what I'm saying? Touching on the muscle and uh getting it all nice and Ripped apart, spread apart, you know, spread that muscle apart so I can shove some, some protein in there. Get that protein symphony, symphony. 
get that protein synthesis. Words. Protein synthesis activation. You know what I mean? I lost my train of thought. Really, basically what I'm saying is ripping that tender muscle apart so I can get them cells to build me some more muscle. Sexual like side so Um but really that what it is, you know what I mean? Like just penetrating the ripped <laughs> Yo the proteins are penetrating the ripped opening from your exercises and filling it in with all its protein goodness. If you think about it like that. <laughs> it's probably not like, you know, scientific or anything, but you know, it makes sense in, in simple terms, you know? <laughs> but yeah. So about to prepare the post workout protein shake. And uh I made an accident and like left like well I didn't like leave the protein but like usually after you get done or after I get done like drinking my protein, I make sure I wash it out and uh and stuff to get like all the protein residue out. Because though if you leave it sitting, bro, it just it smells like like old people. You know what I mean? Like not all old people smell like this, but the, the old people that do smell like this. Why do old, why do old people smell like like um set out protein, bro? Why do they smell? It's like that dry. Oh, yeah, you know I mean, maybe just all old people are just left out protein. <laughs> or protein is old people. <laughs> I'm still drinking that shit. <laughs> I know. All right. Let's get to it. All right. About to make this yummy protein shake. You got the the plant protein. I mean, I used to I used to do I used to do whey, but I don't really eat cheese no more. And I found out that whey was just like concentrated dairy and cheese and stuff like that so i was like damn can't do that anymore but this john only got like 20 grams of protein pour some water in there first you know i mean because i don't like this uh this plant protein like it'd be like sticky and stuff so i used to not really have to do that with the way or i didn't do that with the way because it wasn't really as sticky but just pour some water in there. You put two scoops. That's a whole serving size. Two scoops. Like, you know. I'm going to put two scoops now. Like, that's another thing. I don't know. But it's 30 servings. I guess 30 servings of two scoops each. But two scoops is only 20 grams of protein, which blows me. It blows me, dude. I'm gonna meet him. And the other thing, this protein makes a goddamn mess, man. But it's alright. It's alright. It's for the... It's for the cause. Of, a uh, Not having acne in when I shake this thing. Oh, here we go. I'll shake this thing.
I'm just shaking protein. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, I mean, got my little protein slush at the bottom. And I just uh, usually fill the rest up with some milk. You know what I mean? All right. Let me see y'all in the car. I'm going to have a little you know, quick chat before we skirt out to the gym. Got about like a 15 minute drive to the gym, so. See y'all then, baby. Yo. The weather out here is uh, it's a little icky. Icky, icky, sticky, sticky. It's like, no, but hey, it's, it's what you think it is, right? So the weather out here is beautiful, you know? It's a nice, beautiful, you know, rainy, moist day. You know what I mean? The greenery, they're eating, you know what I mean? They're absorbing the, the water so they can do the photosynthesis and get the sugar from the, all right, I don't know. <laughs> but no, it's a little, it's a little, uh, huh, out here, I mean, I can see, damn, never mind, y'all can't see, y'all can't see, be bright as a bitch, be bright, bro, my phone's in the shop, there you go, here we go, What is really the focus on this video today? <laughs> to be real, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm fucking winging it. Yo, I'm winging it, bro. This is a like we just gonna say this. It's a. It's just. It's a back day, bro. Vlogging with Senpai Rally back day. I don't know. That's not gonna be the title. I don't know what the title is gonna be. But, one and low on gas a little bit, so. Hit the gas station, and then we be making our way to the gym. Also, I need to get like, I'm not sure is there like camera, like, like car stands or something, where I just gotta like, wrap my camera up or some shit so like I can drive and just have my camera set up at the same time I be seeing I be seeing some youtubers do that so I'm trying to really see what the setup is I might just have to look it up be like how do you what's this you know what's the camera set up for driving or something like that you know but yeah we about to go get some gas about to hit the gym because I know that's what you're all waiting for all of my uh, my my 70 subscribers hey came a long way <laughs> I started at zero baby you know what I'm saying can't hate man I started at zero now we at 70 like, and it's only up you know what I mean we only going up But we done with the chat. I'm gonna talk to y'all stinky booties later. When we at the gym. Smooches. Ah. Come here. Got you, little bugger.
a little parched. Always got to keep a jug on you. Mm. Hope my mic's working this time. I think what the problem was last time is that I started the video and then plugged my mic in. So that's why it wasn't picking up any sound. You know, figured it out. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's the case. So we shouldn't have that problem no more. All right, what we got for this split today, man? I already warmed up. I warm up, usually all, my warm up is always the same. Of course, I do my stretches, uh, get my get my ligaments all nice and, that already warms it up. I already warms up my um, my body already, just the stretches. I don't do any like hardcore stretches, more like dynamic stretches, moving stretches. And I'm not like, you know, stretching for, I'm not holding it for that long whatever so that like warms up my body and then on a pool day on a back day just like this always got to start off with some pull-ups and I usually like doing some pullovers as well I superset that so uh, yeah superset that pull-ups and pullovers so yeah so usually how I train right I kind of I kind of like I've always had um, like what I'm doing for the day, but I never really just had like a set like regiment. And I hope y'all can't hear the sirens, they're like mad loud. But I didn't really have like a set regiment. You know, it wasn't really truly structured, but it was structured. Like it was structured, but it wasn't structured. If you get what I'm saying. So basically, I'm just uh, putting more structure to it, trying this out, you know what I mean? So what I used to do is I would, of course, come in. I, I just now started tracking just like every day like in my notes. There's probably like some cool tracking app that would make it way easier, but this is how I do it. I just track it in my notes. Um, so yeah, and, and usually how I do, I'll just come in. Of course, I have my set day. I know what I'm working and but I wouldn't have like set exercises, kind of like, you know, I would feel it out, go out how, how I want it. And I, I and like, you know that. What? I made a lot of progress doing that. And of course, like, I know a lot of different exercises um, and I know what exercise to hit what. So I usually just filled it out and I would always, you know, I would feel, I would feel well-rounded, but now, I want to have it more um, more structured, trying this out, trying out. Basically, let me just tell y'all, because I've been, I've been stalling, I've been having y'all at the edge of y'all seats. So, you know. <laughs> but basically, the way I'm structuring my new regiment, I typed up the other night, I'm going to do like four week increments, as in like, for four weeks, I'm doing whatever set exercises I pick for, you know, whatever, for all the days, you know, all the days I'm doing those same exercises, four weeks, for four weeks straight. And like, you know, of course, progressing throughout that week. I meant throughout, progressing throughout the month, you know what I mean? So, like today, I'm hitting my undergrip lap pull downs, I'm hitting barbell row, I'm hitting tricep pull downs push downs, whatever you want to call them. Hit machine rear delt fly and my overhead tricep extension. And I'm hitting single arm cable row, you know, to really hit them lats. Mad crazy. I'm trying, I'm trying to grow wings and fly away. But I'm gonna be doing these same movements or getting used to them for four weeks straight. And starting at oh, like around six to eight reps, around that rep range, whatever weight I can do six to eight reps for at least two working sets. And of course, like I have my warm up sets, but like I, I do at least like two working sets, you know, really going to failure. But when I can do those movements and uh, my reps go like, I'm starting, oh, I'm talking 
I'm starting at six to eight reps, and once I can do 10 reps of those, that's when I move up in weight. You know what I'm saying? Because usually I would, like the way I would train is I would, of course, know what I wanted my rep range to be, what reps I wanted to hit. And of course, I would adjust my weight accordingly to hit the reps I wanted and also be at um, failure when I hit how many reps I wanted to hit. But now, I want to have it more structured as in just like, so I know when to move up. Like I've been doing lap pull downs at this certain amount of weight, hitting six to eight reps. And now I can hit, you know, 10 reps using that rate weight. So now it's time to move up in weight and start hitting six to eight reps again. And once I start hitting 10, then I move up again. But this is my first time doing it, so I'm not really sure is a, a month gonna be long enough um, to like for my for my reps to go up, like, you know, my muscles get stronger for my reps to go up. So we'll see, you know, I'm doing the same workout four weeks straight. So we're gonna see if at the end of the month, we can move up and wait on that particular movement. We're gonna figure it out. Enough talking, baby. Enough talking. It's time to get some work in the CUDA workout montage. <laughs> madness look at this madness this is this is proof that the triceps are just getting out of hand the triceps are getting out of hand need to dial it back a little bit yeah guys so the triceps are truly getting out of hand I think 
after this month, after this block, or maybe after this month, depending on how I'm feeling, I'm probably gonna switch my back days to back and shoulders because shoulders always can do some extra work. I mean, you can't really lift too heavy with your shoulders anyway, so you know, get some extra fondalization put on the shoulder muscles. It's always good, you know? Who doesn't want sexy? I think, I, I'm I, like, I really do think shoulders is like one of the most aesthetic parts of the body. Like they really would make everything else even look aesthetic. You know I mean, without, without good shoulders, bro, like, what are you really doing? You know what I mean? But yeah, so. Also with the tricep pull downs. You know, I'm definitely not trying to get my outer head really too much bigger at the moment until I get my you know, my shoulders more bigger, but some more bigger. More bigger is not gonna work. But until I get my shoulders bigger, you know, round it out fully. And then I can get the outer head even bigger than it already is. This. I tell you my goddamn triceps. They just keep growing. So I already hit up a decent amount on my push days. So then like just really focusing on them. Like that just sets it over the top. Like my triceps, they just they just growing out of hand. So with the lat push downs, I really try to focus on my inner. Um, I'm not really too sure about the, the fucking scientific name right now, but just my inner tricep muscle. You know what I mean? Really focus on that, you know what I mean? Get that mind muscle connection there. But yeah. Let's hit some more back. All my fellas. Got done 
You about to see how this pump looking like. I'm doing uh, the loading week, so I'm not doing as much volume as I usually do. I just drop down, uh, I drop down one set. And then I'm just, yeah, not doing as many reps. Be loading, and I was I was going a little OD because you know I have my hypertrophy training weeks, and then also now I have my strength training weeks. And I was going OD because I like I was doing a little more like strength training than really hypertrophy training, so I'm really just recal re recalculating. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm goofy. I'm I'm basically just you know re-gauging like what's my what's my weight and like rep range for that weight so yeah but enough talking let's see how this uh this pump looking uh, oh uh. I swear it gets harder and harder to take off clothes. This is how we how we looking with the beater on. Flexes, I'll take it off. Get that front double bicep on. Tricep pose or something. Tight. Great. Might put my hair up. Actually. I don't think it'll work, but I'll still do this right now. Oh, uh, what's this? The Arnold Arnold pose? Oh no, this seat. I don't think so. That uh, the Arnold pose. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's what this is called. Whew. 
That's a little lot spread. I gotta get better at these. Hopefully that was pretty good. I think I'm getting, I'm gradually getting better. Back double bicep, it's okay. Pop the hair over here real quick. I need to get a better uh, flexing on this side, Don. Arnold. better at at lat spreads than I used to be of course with the wings you know what I'm saying the wings are getting bigger I can pop them out like kind of like on demand now walking around like these I just need to get my um my upper chest bigger that's why I, I focus on upper chest workouts a lot because the upper chest really needs a lot more development. But six months in into and six months into like me like really bulking, I think I've I've gained quite a bit of muscle. I might show y'all before and after. And I mean and a before and after of my last spread. You know what I mean? Get a, get a before or last spread and show you my last spread now. I know, yeah. Definitely. Definitely made a, I've made a lot of progress from, than uh, what I used to. What was I saying? I don't even know if I said words definitely have made a lot of progress um, from like when I started taking bodybuilding seriously oh. feeling pretty good feeling pretty good about myself right now all right let me get a couple more flex in without the mic on I'll probably see y'all back at the crib. Still in it. <laughs> I'm looking. <sighs> Look clapped in it. Damn. Now if you can see, man them look mad cozy in it. It's later in the day. You know. Man, them had to take a shower, wash all the stink butt out of man, them ass. You heard me. Got something to eat, you know. Made a made a shake. Man, them had to steal some food in it. I'll play a clip right right now. Huh. Stole some food. I don't know who that woman is in there. She beautiful though. Give me that. Yeah, I don't know who that woman is though. <laughs> Just stole food straight out her hand. Man, them did not care. Man, them was hungry. You understand? <laughs> the mandem, not mandem walked up to her and said, Allow all that, allow all that. She was all crying. You know, she was all crying. 
Give me that. Man, I said, Low all that. Man, give me your food. Snatched it out of hand. Straight. Went back in the house, innit? Didn't do nothing. <laughs> Straight devoured that food, let me tell you. Devoured that food. Man, I had pot belly. I was looking like a pregnant dad. I was looking like your dad. <laughs> I just came for all y'all dads. All y'all dads with stomachs. I just, I'm sorry. I just came for all y'all, you know. Fight man about it, innit? I lay you down. Come. <laughs> Allow all that, man. Might be accent. What's up with the accent, innit? <laughs> Top boy, innit? <laughs> yeah. Top boy. Stop playing. From the UK, I'm top boy. You understand? You understand? I'm a little rusty in it, but look. Break me out of five acorns. <laughs> no, but that's gonna be a wrap up for this one, innit? You know? Had a nice little day. I'm about to start coming some mad content in it, you know what I'm saying? Content for all the head tops, you know. We about to, we here for a long time, not a short time, you hear me? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, any of my, you know, my handful of viewers, you know, my 16 viewers, you know, drop a comment in it, you know, what you want to see? Nah, kiss that like button on the forehead, innit? And I'll see you in the next one. Kiss that like button up for me. Two. Bye! Bye.